Hello. Hey, what's happening, y'all? Uh, I'm back again, and today we're going to be discussing uh, something that's very crucial in photography, and it separates uh, amateur-looking pictures to professional-looking pictures, or however you want to see it, but it's depth of field. So we're going to talk about um, basically what is depth of field and uh, how do you control depth of field, because you do. So, um, you know, here we go. First off, um, for those of you who don't know what depth of field is, depth of field uh, simply refers to how deep, um, how deeply in focus your picture is. Um, if you're into photography, I'm sure you like uh, pictures with shallow depth of field. You might not know what it is, but here goes. Um, shallow depth of field simply means that um, you know something is in focus and everything else is out of focus. So um, you know uh, the depth of field you know talks about how many planes are not how many like a number you know, but but how deeply into pictures is, as far as planes are concerned, like planes of existence. So, um, you know, if this is out of focus and this is in focus and this is out of focus, that's your depth of field. If everything's in focus, that is depth of field as well. So, you know, it's just, it's just referencing depth of field just references that your focus, what's in focus and what is out of focus. Um, a shallow depth of field refers to um, when something is in focus and it quickly fades into out of focus, you know, in front and behind the subject. So, um, you know, it could be the subject, it could not be the subject, but whatever is in focus, um, you know, it, it's it's shallow if very little of it is in focus. It's not deep. Um, a, you know, a deep depth of field um, is when, you know, everything's in focus. So, you know, in a nutshell, that's all depth of field refers to. So now you know what depth of field is. Um, but now we got to find out how to control it. You know, it you know, makes no difference if we know what it is, if we don't know how to control it. So here we go. There are three criteria that affect your depth of field. Um, it's your, your f-stop, your focal length, and your distance to the subject. So, you know, your f-stop being the aperture, your focal length being what lens you choose, and your distance being basically, you know, how far away from your subject are, is your camera, you know? So those are the three things that affect it. Um, your f-stop, basically the, the wider the aperture, um, the shallower your depth of field. And, you know, on the other side of that, the, the smaller your aperture, you know, the, the little hole's tiny, you can either go wide or you can go small. The smaller your aperture, the deeper your depth of field is going to be. So depending on what you're looking for, those two things affect your depth of field. Uh, and that's something that most people think is what affects depth of field. You know, I've said it before, you know, this is what affects depth of field, your aperture. But there are the other criteria, you know, and they're, they're just as important. So, you know, that is like the main concern of most people. But the other two things do uh, affect, you know, depth of field as well. The other two being, you know, the, the distance from your subject and the, the focal length, the, the, the lens that you choose, how, how much of a zoom does it have, you know? So uh, the wider the, the focal length that you choose, um, the, the, the wider the focal length you choose, the deeper your depth of field is going to be, the, the more, you know, planes of existence are going to be in focus. Um, you know, at the same f-stop, you know, if you have a, a 24 millimeter at 2.8 and you're the same distance away from something, the the 24 millimeter is going to have a lot of things in focus. If you throw your 200 millimeter on, stay the same distance away from the subject, the depth of field is going to fall off quicker. The focus is going to fall off, you know, quicker in the front and the back. You're going to have basically have a shallower depth of field. Same distance, same f-stop, different focal length. So you know that's that's how that would affect your depth of field. And so you choose. You're you're making a conscious decision as to what you want to do, and you know. Now you have a little bit more tools to know, you know, what your decisions mean to your depth of field. Uh, the the third criteria is the distance to your subject. So uh, the closer you get to your subject, the quicker the focus is going to fall off. The the you know the shallower your depth of field is going to be. Uh, you know, with the the same f stop, same focal length. You know, if you get close to something the focus is going to fall off quicker. If you get further away, you're going to have a deeper area in focus. So, you know, um, depth of field refers to, you know, how quickly that focus falls off, how quickly the picture gets soft. And, you know, you control it with, you know, the three criteria for controlling depth of field. Um, so, you know, now you have that and, and that's huge. You know, if you know this, this is something that is, you know, uh, that, that separates photographers, you know, like the, the level of photography um, you're learning. So, you know, keep learning, keep watching, I'll keep teaching. And, um, you know, 
Uh, thumbs up this thing. There's a little thumbs up thing that you can do down there. I think you have to press it twice for it to even work. If you press it once, it doesn't even work. You have to press the thumbs up two times in order for it to give me a thumbs up. And so, um, you know, the more you do that, the higher I rank, the more people watch, the more people learn, and um, it's awesome. So um, thanks for watching all the way through. And, uh, you know, thanks for any comments and everything like that. Uh, questions are always welcome still. Comments, thumbs up, or obviously, you know, the Bombay. And, uh, you know, I love you all, man. So peace, take care, and I'll see you around. Are you ready to learn the core concepts behind taking great pictures all the time, every time, so that you can take pictures in any situation that you find yourself in? This DVD will teach you proper exposure, composition essentials, metering light, flash photography, about light, action photography, low light photography, staying in focus, white balance, and about pixels. Every chapter is broken up into sub-chapters so you can learn what you want to learn, when you want to learn it, and learn at your own pace. I don't just show you the settings that I use, but I show you why you choose the settings that you choose to get the best pictures around. And don't worry, it's not that difficult. This is the learning tool that I wish I had 10 years ago when I started, and that's why I'm offering it out to you guys for the price anyone can afford of $25, so photographers around the world can learn what I want to teach them. Email me at photomagic001 at yahoo.com to place your order, and we'll get this disc in your hand as soon as possible. Thank you very much, and all the best to you.